Hey guys, what's going on? Shinobi here, just uh, in my bathroom <laughs> real quick, getting ready to go out to get something to eat, and I wanted to uh, do a little IRL thing real quick for you, update you on some stuff, let you know what's going on, all that jazz. So, um, sorry, this camera's like so weird. Uh, yeah, but this is my cell phone right here. Um, probably the first time you've seen it in some of my IRL videos. I don't really uh, ever show it, but it's not a very good camera. That's why I never pan on my face. It's the only moment that I can actually sit in front of the camera is with the mirror because then I actually uh, can actually zoom out enough and stand back, you know. But if I'm holding it up, if I'm holding it up to my face, then it's all messed up. If you guys haven't seen my apartment before, um, this is my apartment. I moved back to Canada. I'm originally from Canada. I moved to the States for 12 years. I just moved back. I know there's a lot of new people, new subscribers to the channel. Maybe I haven't seen the place before. Um, this is the apartment. Let me turn this light on over here. And, yep, so this is it right here. Nothing spectacular. It's okay. Um, I got this apartment, and I invited my dad to come along because he's been sick with his cancer treatments and stuff. I'm really close to the hospital here, so I can keep an eye on him. This is his room right here. <laughs> I tried to knock on it, but it's apparently not hollow. I guess not. Well, that's a good sign then. <coughs> or, or not. I don't know. Anyway, so... Uh, a couple update things for you guys. I've been kind of locked in the apartment for a while. It's been a snow blizzard up here. Probably the first time it snowed actually really bad up here since I've been back. And uh, you can check it out. Yeah, so it's pretty, it's been, uh, it's been pretty crazy. But let's go take a look at some other angles. Anyways, I want to update you guys on a couple of things. Um, I actually heard back from, uh, I was actually got a bill for the, the internet and in Canada uh, the way that it works is you get you get a cap on your internet so your download and upload com get combined together and you cannot exceed a certain amount for whatever your plan is my plan is 175 gigs download and upload per month um, so apparently I went over to 200 and then went over again to 300 and I'll show you real quick let me show you when I go into the bedroom, you can pull up on the website and stuff. And I'm going to zoom in for you. If it's not like, if it's not like really zoomed in, if it doesn't look really good, maybe I'll just like put a screenshot or something. Hold on, that's not it. There we go. Right here, uh, you can see in the month, uh, this one right here is December. Did about 200 when you add them together. And then 300 over here, which just really blows my mind, man. I mean, check this out real quick. You can see... I'll go back to my monthly for this month so far, and you can see this month I'm doing like five per day, three, six, six, five. This one day where it was 16, that's when I stopped using Wi-Fi, and now you see how much it's dropped down since then. So apparently, when I had called uh, Kojiko, which is a company that I have, they said, if you're not using that much, then maybe someone's stealing your internet. Now, I have two encryptions on my router uh, slash my settings. So, there are programs out there, or not programs, but um, devices that you can get that if you, ha if you use like a... Sorry, the lighting's like bad like that. It focuses weird. If you get like a... If you have like a WEP router or something like that... Um, they can actually get in without the password. It can it cracks it for them or something like that. So like, you know, I don't think anyone's smart enough in this building, literally. But uh, still, I mean, it's possible. And like this month, I've been doing so much lower as far as download and upload. Like 300 gigs in one month, I would have to download about 10 movies per day, and that's just not the case. I mean, I watch Netflix and stuff like that, but that those movies average like. 500 megabytes to a thousand gig to a to a thousand megabytes, which is around one gig. Uh, sometimes a little bit bigger than that depends on the movie, but that's just ridiculous, man. It just like pissed me off so much, and they want to charge us a dollar extra per that we used over the limit. So like next month, my bill would be an additional 130 dollars. So I was like, no way, no way. What can we do about this? So I worked in retail and customer service for many years in sales and everything I said can't we just backdate it and I just upgrade to a better plan and then you can just charge me that way 
and she says, well, we can do that for you if, uh, I don't know if I'm talking really loud, sorry if I am, uh, the echo's in here, so, uh, happens when you don't have a lot of furniture, <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, she had said, she said, well, let, we could do that, but, um, we, let's see how this month goes, and if we see that after you cut your wireless off, and now we're using Ethernet cords, um, let me show you real quick, because I never use wireless. I mean, I have a desktop computer, and this is the router right here that I was using. It's a Netgear, and it's an actually it's a pretty nice uh, router. It's not too bad. And then the uh, you can see I have the Cat5 uh, cord that we just got for him so he can connect his computer up. And I've always used the yellow one here, which goes straight to my computer. And that's the best way to game, by the way, guys. If you didn't know that, wired keyboard, wired mouse, check it out. Check it out. Best way, and plus the Ethernet, best way to game. Because you don't want you don't want any kind of interference. And sometimes signals can drop. You don't want that. You don't want any kind of droppage. And that's just how it goes. But uh, so anyways, since then it's been a lot lower for download and upload. And I know that someone had to be stealing it, and I was so pissed off when I had figured that out. And even though they got past the passwords, which are actually really hard passwords, by the way. So it's just like everything's really hard. Like my, just all of my passwords that I use are always incredibly hard and every one of them is different. So if someone were to get into one of them, they couldn't get into the rest of my stuff, which is also another good thing to do if you're ever curious. Um, but yeah, so that just pissed me off. And um, I'm about to head and get some food in just a minute here. I also want to talk about one more thing too. I had some recent donators lately. Um, haven't really get any donations in like probably about a month or so, and I haven't really talked about them at all either, um, just because I don't want to like feel like I'm cramming something down your throat or sound like I'm begging for donations, because I'm not. I only just shout people out whenever I get them. Like The link is always in the description, and if I do get a donation, then I shout people out, but I don't make videos to get donations, you know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, some people I want to shout out, uh, Electric Monkey just donated like $15 uh, re recently. Um, had uh, one person I haven't seen in forever, which is Leonard P. He hasn't donated in forever. I don't know if he died or what. He used to donate every week, like $30, $40. Like, that guy was such a baller, man. He still is, like, even though he's not donating and stuff. I mean, that's just, that's crazy, man. So, uh, I haven't really heard from him. I mean, if you're on there, man, if you want, you know, if you want to send me a message, we can have a conversation. I tried to add him to Skype. Like, he's donated, like, a couple hundred dollars and, you know, I would love to have a conversation with him and just thank him for helping out with, you know, it helps out so much with the electric bill and uh, rent and all that stuff. So I am very grateful. But uh, anyway, so then I also uh, got a donation from um, Chris K, which has donated before. Is donated like probably $40, $50 before in total. And he donated, I'm just showing you a panoramic out here, nothing spectacular. I'll show you some more cool footage soon after I'm done with this story. So anyways, uh, he donated like $100 recently. And I was like, whoa, that's crazy. And what had happened is I was live streaming. And he said, play on the EU servers. And I'm like, well, I have to go buy all that stuff. And I have to get a new account and do all this stuff. And he's like... Here, I'll do it for you. And I was just like, no way, man. So he did. He donated $100 so I could buy all the expansions and stuff for World of Warcraft and make an account and level up with him or for a friend. So look for that in the future, guys, probably a month or two from now when i got time to really get into that. Um, I'm going to be leveling up on EU. I hope you guys are psyched for that because I always have so many like EU subscribers, but they can't add me to friends list on Battle.net because I play on US. So this is going to be awesome for you guys. Because then I can actually communicate with you a lot more, um, except for like Facebook and stuff. Like I usually communicate with you guys, which also links in the description. So yeah, so that's all that stuff and uh, some just some awesome stuff. Some people donating, being real awesome people, and you know I definitely appreciate that, which is really great. Um, anything else that's happened recently, other than the snow, the internet thingy, uh, the donations? Oh, yeah, a lot of people have been joining from TGN World of Warcraft, which is really awesome. I've been making some videos over there, like exclusive videos that I don't post over here, really. And uh, they've been coming over from TGN World of Warcraft, so I want to welcome all you guys. If you are from TGN World of Warcraft, you were subscribed there and saw my video, you know, let me know in the comments below. I'd really like to see 
uh, all the new names and stuff like that. But uh, definitely, I've been putting out a lot of videos lately, especially World of Warcraft. Going to be diving into this in Diablo 3 soon, especially when the PvP patch comes out, which should be hopefully soon. It's still in PTR, but uh, I want to do like I have a really awesome series uh, lined up for Diablo 3. And what I want to do, uh, I don't even know if I want to say it, but it's kind of a secret. Uh, I'll just say it anyways, because if you guys watch the vlogs and you got to like put up with this crappy camera and stuff. Um, I'm actually going to plan on doing a dueling series uh, versus each class in the game. So it'll be like Demon Hunter versus this and that and just kind of break down each one so I can give you guys like full exclusive tips and it's going to be awesome gameplay and I'm going to want to like go up against the best players in the world and stuff which is going to be great. Uh, just like some of the best geared people, not people that just bought a bunch of gear and they're just crappy players. I'm talking about people that are good and have really good gear. So that's going to be fun too. I'm about to head and get some food, guys. So I will take a. Uh, I'm gonna ha hop on the bus. I'm gonna drive down there, and I'm gonna show you this place that I'm gonna go grab some food from. It's called Burrito Boys, and they have like famous burritos. They're so good, and they're cheap too, which is great. It's like good deal, and it's like a two-pound burrito almost. Almost like it's so much food. But it's so good too. Like all fresh ingredients, like veggies and just you know chicken and you know just good stuff for you too it's just it's good for you but uh there are some things about it that aren't so good for you like there's cheese in there and stuff but uh it's something i'd like to do every once in a while anyways uh, i'm gonna go back to the bathroom so i can say goodbye to you guys correctly as i get into the next footage here so um that's what i'm gonna do is i'm going to this is my bathroom by the way i don't know if you saw it but this is this shower curtain, by the way, my friend Jesse and Celine, they just moved into an apartment and they actually got the same shower curtain that I have. They didn't even know that I had this one. Like Jesse had only been here before, but he never used the bathroom. So my best friend Jesse, he actually bought the same shower curtain as me. And I went to this house and I was like, that looks familiar. I'm like, holy crap, you bought the same shower curtain as me. Because he just got an apartment and I just got an apartment. And it's like, I don't know, it was kind of an epic moment, but it was pretty cool. I'll probably show you some guys some footage of his apartment soon. It's pretty awesome, and I'm uh, pretty happy for him and Celine, his girlfriend. But uh, anyways, guys, I will um, do the. I will see you guys soon. Uh, I'm gonna go do the burrito boys thing, and I will head to. Uh, man, I need like shower or something. <laughs> um, I will I will head down there, and it's a little bit longer vlog because you guys have been patient on the vlogs. So I thought I'd treat you a little bit, maybe a little bit longer of a vlog, hear some stories and stuff, all that goodness. So, um, gonna, <laughs> thought I, I don't know. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon, and, uh, and yeah, I don't know why I'm still talking. Okay, see ya. down the road here just got off the bus look at this snow guys and look what I'm wearing and yep wearing freaking <coughs> sweater and Nikes oh yeah <laughs> I'm gonna show you the place right up here almost there here it is burrito boys Ooh, check it out. Yep, that's the place. Maybe if you live in this area, you'll recognize where it is if you didn't know where it was. Be right back. Alright, guys, got the burrito. Check her out. Rawr. It's pretty big, like almost two pounds. Good deal. Can't beat it. But yeah, this is all the snow. I thought I'd show you around downtown a little bit. So uh, I'm about to hop on another bus here. That's not mine over there. So hop on another bus and then I'll see you when I get home and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, if you're curious to why I'm wearing a sweater and Nikes when it's got this much snow outside, uh, it's just because when I moved back here I didn't have any boots or coat and I didn't really feel like paying for one. So uh, I'm still, I'm pretty warm. So don't have to worry about me. 
that's my bus over there I'm gonna miss it <laughs> I always miss the bus just by a little bit hopefully I can catch up to it see you soon guys I'm back home and I want to show you this burrito check it out good deal I'll put my hand up to it so you can see a comparison it is longer than my hand and I actually have pretty big hands look at my razor naga up to it check it out it's like three times bigger than my razor naga it's pretty epic I do like some good burrito itch. I'll say goodbye to you guys in the uh, mirror over here. I'm gonna dive into some footage. It's gonna be good. Whoa, and all that stuff. So, anyway, guys, uh, I do appreciate you checking out the vlog. Uh, once again, the donations have been awesome. Thank you very much for that. The recent donations, and uh, yeah. So. Uh, let me uh, try and, anyway, see you guys later. I'm Shinobi. Till next time, thanks for watching.